It is mailbag time on Bears Now, but first, I got a challenge for you. I'm trying to reach 38,000 subscribers before the Bears vs. Packers game kicks off on Sunday Night Football, obviously on Sunday night. So help us out, subscribe, free daily videos. We'll continue to have you guys covered all week long, and we'll be live for that game as well. Uh, Bears vs. Packers watch party. So let's hit 38K before that game kicks off. It's up to you guys. Hit that big red button and subscribe. One more live Q&A to go. I am Harrison Graham, the host of Chicago Bears Now. So go ahead and submit those questions, and we will answer as many of them as we can. Shelton Hickerson, it's a QB-driven lead. Uh, trade Khalil Mack and Quinn, get some good offensive help for Justin. So he wants to trade some of the defensive talent to get players on offense for Justin Fields. If you get adequate players or high draft picks, I'm down, Shelton. No argument whatsoever. Mark Sarukonian, uh, let's see, I think that Zimmer gets fired from Minnesota, especially after their last loss. What do you think about getting him as head coach? I think we need a coach with experience. I, I don't hate Zimmer, but he's kind of a boomer. Um, uh, I'd, I'd love him as D.C. I think he's a great defensive coordinator, uh, but I don't want him as a head coach. He, he's he's up there in age. He's not, he's not innovative. Uh, in terms of the modern game, especially with offense. You'd have to get a really good offensive coordinator if you brought him in here. Uh, I'm down to get an experienced coach. I just think I would go in a different direction. Mm. Lil Smith, what are some options at corner? Because Vildor ain't it. Also, Duke ain't it either. Johnson needs help. Yeah, Johnson needs help for sure. I thought Shelly was playing a tick better at nickel before the injury, but he's obviously not a, probably a long-term solution. Vildor... You know, maybe he continues to improve, but I think he's more of a backup. Um, there will be dudes this offseason. Uh, there will certainly be guys in the draft as well, uh, and that's certainly an area you're going to have to target. I'll take a look at who some of those guys are, and uh, we'll mention that in a future video. The Bears 69. Could the Bears hire Luke Fickle as head coach? So Luke Fickle, the head coach of the Cincinnati Bearcats, who just qualified for the college football playoff, they will face Alabama in the semifinal. Uh, a report did drop that NFL teams really like Luke Fickle. I'm a big fan of him. Uh, I think I think he's he's a player's coach. I think he uh, runs a disciplined ship. Like, like things don't get out of control under him, which that's been an issue with Nagy at times, a lot of uh, lack of discipline. Uh, I'd be down for Luke Fickle. Would it be a bit of a risk? Sure, somewhat of an unknown commodity for, as an NFL head coach, but he's the first coach to take a group of five, a.k.a. a small uh Division One college football program to the college football playoff. That's very, very impressive. And he's turned out NFL talent. So I'd be okay with that. Uh, he wouldn't be my top candidate, but uh, I do think uh, he could be a guy that the Bears consider. Who do you want as the next Bears head coach? Pen comment on today's video. YouTube ad break coming your way right now. So let us know who you want as the next Bears head coach. All right, I got to scratch my nose here. Sangray Kim, Fields plus second round pick for Deshaun Watson given that his legal problems are for sure gone. Uh, unless you've seen something I haven't. Uh, oh, he's saying, like, if the problems go away. I think that's what he means by given. Um, I still probably wouldn't do it, man. We got to give Fields a real chance. You just, you just have to do that. Look, Fields plus a second, if Watson's legal issues go away, is not giving up that much, to be honest. I don't think the Texans would take that. If we're being uh, completely frank, if if his legal issues go away, you're talking about three first round picks at least to get uh, Watson. Now, Fields could account for one of those, but uh, that's not going to get it done. And honestly, I want to make Fields work. I really want Justin Fields to work. I, I, I appreciate the super chat, but I think Fields can be the guy in Chicago. Louis DePhillips, how is Pace being talked about being promoted? Fire him. You don't promote someone that you think isn't doing their job. Shake my head. This would be very bearish. Yeah, I kind of I kind of tend to agree with you. You know, people have said, well, you can pro promote him to team president, and he's not making all the personnel decisions, but at least he has a position and has some football knowledge. I get that, but should he be rewarded for making a bunch of bad mistakes managing this roster? I don't really think so. So, yeah, I agree with you, Louie. Would I completely hate it? No, because he'd probably be better at his job than Ted Phillips as team pre president, but... That's not enough of a reason to keep him. Pat Rick, do you think the Giants 
uh, trick Pace into giving up too much to trade up? No. You gave up uh, number 20 overall in your first next year. That's good value to move up from 20 to 11 to get a potential franchise quarterback. I don't I don't think they tricked him at all. I think he got tricked by the 49ers when he took Trubisky. He moved up from 3 to 2 and gave up real picks to move up one spot. Uh, but no, I don't think he got tricked uh, by the New York Giants. Now, Bears fans, we got this sweet pullover hoodie for 50% off at chatsports.com slash Bears hoodie. This thing is normally uh, 70 bucks. Right now it is 35. Take advantage of the deal. It's a great looking hoodie. It's going to keep you warm when it is cold outside, which is right now because winter is coming. It's here for a lot of us. Chatsports.com slash Bears hoodie. That link will be in the comments. It'll be in the description. Take advantage of this deal today at chatsports.com slash Bears hoodie. John Mackle, do you think Cole Komet is a bust? I don't think he's a bust, but he's very inconsistent. He's got to he's got to be more consistent catching the football. That pick that Dalton threw, look, he threw four, and three of them were probably on him. But the one to Komet was a huge one because the first pick led to a touchdown. But then you come all the way back down, you're driving on third down. Sure, it's a little low, it's a little behind him, but it is pouring and cold outside. You got to help your quarterback, man. You convert that, you're inside the 20, you go score tied at 7. Maybe it's a different game. Instead of 14 nothing down, it's 7 all. Midway through the first, it's boom. You've, you've restarted the game there, uh, but uh, he's got to be more consistent. Cole Komet had a rough day on uh, Sunday. He had that uh, drop. He had a couple penalties. It wasn't good. He's got to be more, more consistent and more reliable. Patrick, 1963, says, uh, Should picks be used to get O-line and secondary? I think those are two major needs. Um, we'll see what safety looks like. Uh, Eddie Jackson's been fine this year, certainly not great. Uh, CB2 is a need. You probably need a nickel. Uh, and we know that you need a center at least. Now, if you're lucky, you may only need a center, right? You could re-sign James Daniels, keep him in white hair at guard. It's not the best guard tandem, but it's at least average to above average. You can get by with that. Foreman Jenkins are your tackles, then you could be set there, but we need to see Jenkins play, obviously. I like what I've seen from Borum, uh, but you need a center. Sam must for ain't it. you got to upgrade that position. Mike Davidson. Everyone says Bears-Packers isn't a rivalry due to the recent record from overall record. It wasn't tied up until two, three years ago, despite Green Bay's having Favre and Rodgers for the last 27 years. Yeah, look, it's obviously a rivalry. Like, I, 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 when I said that, I don't literally mean it's not a rivalry. I'm saying it's been one-sided. And a, a, a big-time rivalry shouldn't be that way. And this is a big-time rivalry. It's like Ohio State-Michigan, right? Michigan won this year, but they had lost 16 out of 17. I mean, that is dominant for Ohio State in the last two decades. Over time, I think Michigan still has more wins than Ohio State. Uh, and over time, Bears-Packers is close, but – you can't get dominated like this for this long. Like, you got to take it back. So, hopefully, the Bears can start doing that, can start winning some of these matchups. Now, obviously, Chicago is, you know, arguably the pizza capital of the world. So, what is the better pizza topping? Type P for pepperoni, type S for sausage. I'll let you guys decide down in the comment section. Better pizza topping, in your opinion, P for pepperoni or S for sausage? Bob Toller, what do you think of Sean Desai, the defensive coach? Yeah, I know who Sean Desai is. Uh, it's hard to really evaluate him. He's lost some key guys. He had, he, he had an injured Khalil Mack for six, seven games. Now he's done. Uh, Akeem Hicks has missed most of the year. This team did not get a second cornerback. That was not his fault. Uh, you lost Ogletree and Trevathan at times. And uh, Eddie Jackson's not the same player. So, uh, or Eddie uh, Goldman isn't the same player after sitting last year out. So I think it's been tough to evaluate him. Uh, I, I think he's been more aggressive than Pagano at times, which is what I asked for. But the injuries have made it hard to give a full evaluation. I like him. I, you know, I, I don't have to keep him, though, with the new staff. Like, I wouldn't hire a coach saying you have to keep Sean Desai's DC. If he wants to, I'm down. Uh, but uh, I think it's been a bit of a mixed bag. Graham Rogers, the Bears and the McCaskies have been jokes for 100 years now. How are they uh, okay with letting the team perform so badly? They need to sell the team for things to really turn around. I know that's a strong opinion from Bears fans is this will never change as long as the McCaskies are owners. And, look, I, I get where you're coming from, but I think there's a lot that goes into this, and it's not just who the owners are. But 
hey, like well, we've talked about it before, these aren't the richest owners, the you know free willing, sp free spending type of owners uh, that you would like. Uh, but uh, I think there's a lot of issues at play to why the Bears have underperformed. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at hgramnfl. We're gonna answer a couple more questions, but. If you don't get your question answered at HGram NFL, that is the place to go. Slide in the DMs. I caught up on some DMs on Monday night, finally. I'm going to be more proactive and uh, staying active in the DMs over there. I promise to reply to all of you at HGram NFL. I will continue to uh, uh, put out some content over there. And once I get to 1,000 followers on Instagram, I'm going to find a time to do an IG Live. Uh, on Instagram only. So that will be a lot of fun. At HGram NFL, go ahead and give me a follow and let's talk some Bears football over there as well. Okay, Bobby Ray, as we have a couple more here, I think it would be cool if the next head coach hired Fangio as the next DC, given Denver fires him. Yeah, like if Denver cuts him loose, I would be definitely in to get Fangio back as the DC. He was tremendous in 2018. Uh, I would not hire him as a head coach, but I don't think you guys want that either. But, yeah, if you hire an offensive head coach or even just a CEO type of head coach, bring Fangio in as the defensive coordinator, I'm down. I, I know what he brings to the table defensively. He's a great defensive coach. Uh, so, yes, I would I would be in for that. Nixon Pantful, uh, better center Alex Lindstrom or Jarrett Patterson? I think Lindstrom's the better one. Uh, I don't know if you can get him, but I think he's the better uh, the better guy there. Last one here, unless we get a super chat. Pat Rick uh, says, when Nagy gets fired, do you think Bill Lazor should go with him? Yes. They're the only coaches on this staff. And let, let's be clear. Do we really think Bill Lazor has, like, elevated this offense in a major way? I don't. Nagy certainly wasn't very good, but Bill Lazor, he hasn't been good either. The only coaches I would even consider keeping on the staff are Desai and maybe a couple of position coaches. Other than that... Yeah, clean house. And honestly, whoever you hire as head coach, they decide. They can choose who they want to keep on this staff. And if they choose none of them, then that's perfectly fine.